In this tutorial, I'll be trying the new trend where you can turn yourself into a realistic action figure using ChatGPT. I'll be sharing the prompts and what you need to know to create it for yourself. Plus, I'll show you how to bring your action figure to life. Stay tuned to find out. Studio Shepherd. So I'll be demonstrating this using the free version of ChatGPT. In the free version, you can create up to three images per day. If you update to Plus, you can have unlimited downloads. But after several generations, there is around a 10 to 30 minute cooldown period, from what I understand. So we're going to start by uploading some reference images. So for this example, I'm going to make a Breaking Bad figurine. So make sure you upload a full body reference and a close up portrait. And I'm just going to drag these in. Now the next step is to paste this prompt, which I'll leave in the description below. And here we can swap out these placeholders to describe your action figure. So I'm going to make the title Walter White. We can now add our design style. So this could be retro 80s or 90s vibe, modern collectibles, comic style, etc. And so I'm going to go with 90s vintage yellow. Now we can describe what accessories we want. So for Walter, I'll add a gas mask, blue rubber gloves, and optical glasses. Finally, we can add a tagline, or if you don't want this, you can remove this sentence here. So my tagline is going to be, it's time to cook. Once that's all done, we can send off our prompt. Now, I don't know if Plus is any faster, but the free version definitely takes a while to generate, so sit tight. And this is our first generation. And so there's some stuff here that I want to fix, like the text and making him full body. So we can prompt our changes. So I'm just going to type, fix the text to say Walter White and make him full body. Actually make the action figure full body, I should say. And have him wear a yellow jumpsuit. And then I'm going to send that. So this is what I've ended up with, which looks great. Now I'm going to download that in the top right hand corner. And then we're going to jump across to Kling AI, which is also a free AI generator. So now in Kling AI, we're going to go to video. And here we can upload our image. Now we're just going to add the prompt for animating our image. So I want realistic hands to remove the plastic from the toy packaging and then grab the toy. Now we can click generate and we can now preview this. And so this looks amazing and this is all done using free AI generators. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest design tips. I'll see you in the next video.